Oh yeah. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Adrian Boycell video. This is my first tutorial that I'm doing as Adrian Boycell and not Adrian Graphics. Kind of exciting, right? Well, I want to show you something that's really cool that I've been working on with some clients, a project that we're going to think is going to be huge. And so I wanted to show you what I'm working on uh, as part of the, the project launch. So we're working on some social media graphics. And as part of the social media graphics, we want to create some promos, some video promos. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a basketball walkout scene. So you have these little openings here where some of the players usually come out. I'm looking for a photo that I can reference that will give me some ideas in terms of inspiration for the design that I'm going to create. And for what I want to do in this video, I think I'm just looking at this image here. This looks similar to what I was going for. So see this hallway there? This is probably the area that the players would come out from most likely. So you have this little concrete wall, you have the stair railing right there, and then you have the stands. What I need is to recreate a close up shot of this basically. So today I'm gonna to make a tutorial video showing you how I would actually recreate this whole scene, but at a completely different angle. So we're gonna build something from scratch. Uh, so just doing a little bit of research, I think in advance is usually the first step. You wanna find something that's gonna be a good source for you. Um, and I like that one because it's dark. So I think I am gonna go ahead and use that one as my inspiration as kind of like my base. So what I'll just do here is because I like to support an artist, I don't really need to. I could just right click and copy this and just use this as my reference because I'm not going to be actually using the image. But regardless, I'm going to go ahead and license this, show some appreciation to the artist that created it. Maybe I'll grab that other one too, just for some extra inspiration. I really liked the way it looked. I felt like it was balanced, which is really what I want to go for here. I want it to look like a balanced design. That's a great angle. That's an even better angle than what I had before. Uh, I'm going to license this one as well. There we go. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull over to Illustrator, hit File, New. And I'm going to create a canvas that's large enough, especially with its vector. Since it's vector, it's fine, but I want to make sure that I have one that's large enough. So I'm going to go ahead and make this like 8,000, 4,000. I'm just going to always scale it down. That's the beautiful thing about Illustrator always make it smaller but the bigger I work in it in the better the outcome is going to be so I'm going to place that image here okay so what I just need to use this as a reference point what I'm going to do first though is I'm going to make my dark background because I'm going to want this whole thing to be really dark so I'm going to go ahead and put this back here drag out my marquee I'm going to flip it I'm going to remove the stroke there we go and then I'm going to hit shift command or shift control and then the arrows the little brackets right next to the p I'm go ahead and I'm going to send that to the back Another way to do that is hit object, arrange, send to back. You can see that little bracket right there. So that's the second way to do it. So I wanted to show you that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and make this layer locked. Place. Grab that guy here. And just click it. And just click and drag it. I'm going to hold down shift again. Scale to the right size. So now I got two really good reference points. What I want to do though is I'm going to have the banner up here and we're going to put Frenchie Ballers in there. So step one is starting to create the overall layout of the shot that I need. So the overall shot that I want is going to be about like this. I'm going to probably create, you know, if I had a little rectangle to draw right here, I'd probably draw it right here. So what I want to do is just kind of come in here and do that. And the easiest thing for me here to actually just crop that because there's a lot of information in this image so I can select both layers you're gonna learn a lot in this tutorial and you can um, you can hit object clipping mask make boom see what I did right there I just made a clipping mask now I can hold down shift and make this a little bit bigger so I can really get a good shot of this I really like that right there and then I'm gonna have this be out so I'm gonna, what I want to do is create a really balanced design so I'm gonna go ahead and do this first so check this out Okay, so now I created a really nice path. The beautiful thing about this, you'll see, is I can now duplicate this path. So you're gonna click on it. I'm on my regular, my selection tool. I'm gonna roll over this. I'm gonna click on this layer here. I'm gonna hold down Alt and see how it has the double arrow. This is gonna allow me to copy it. So I'm gonna click and drag. So if I take that second layer, Object, uh, Transform, Reflect, boom, reflect, reflected it vertically. Sorry, not horizontally. Okay, now I have these two layers. I'm gonna bring this over to this side. All right, and what I need to do now is I need to combine these two. So I'm gonna click the one to the right, click the one to the left. There we go. So see, I have those two, one to the left and one to the right. 
So let me go ahead and make this one object first. You're going to click on your Pathfinder tool. If you don't know where your Pathfinder tool is, you don't see it there on your right hand panel. You can go ahead and hit window and go down to Pathfinder, which is shift command F9 on your keyboard or they may not be overlapping. They need to be overlapping. So this is important for you. Yeah, they weren't overlapping. So there's nothing for them to merge. Let me just go back. There we go. So now that they're overlapped, I can merge them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this to the width. All right. So now that I have this opening, I can click on this. There we go. That's wow. Nailed it. Okay. So now that we have that, I have this nice angled opening here. We'll create the railing here in just a few moments, but I want to show you, this was the main piece that I needed to create to start to create that structure. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and put a color to it just to make it a little bit better, a little bit easier. And then what I need is I need to be able to have this wall. So I'm going to actually do the wall shading on the inside first. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine right there. So what I'll do is I'll do a different shade, something like this. And then we'll just change the angle. The little gradient tool pops up like that. You see, Okay, so what I need to do is I need to make sure I add my banner. I think that this came down to this direction. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of create this little 3D section here with my pen tool. So we're going to go grab the pen tool again. Hit the little uh, eyedropper tool again, go like this, just to be able to help give us some more of that dimension. <laughs> Let me go ahead and duplicate this, transform, reflect. So you can see here, now you really have this whole kind of stage area. It's really starting to emerge. It's not done yet, but it's starting to emerge. And when I make the little notches for the stairs, it's going to make it even better. And we'll show you how to do that here in just a second. I'm going to create steps that kind of just go straight out because that's kind of what we were going for anyway. Okay. And we'll go ahead and duplicate this Hit V on the keyboard. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of these, make them small enough to where they fit. And there we go. I'm going to give that a little bit more height and just duplicate these over. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and take these and I wanna make sure that each of these is in the right spot. So that's gonna go here, right on this corner. We're gonna move all these out. This is gonna go here on this corner. All right, so there we go. Now I have my stands. Now, if I really wanted to, I can match them up on the right-hand side. Um, and the best way to do that, let me just show you here as I grab all these. I can just take this layer, I could duplicate it. And then I can hit reflect, hit alt or oops, hit alt or option transform, reflect. All right, and then if I show the outlines of this, flip this around, go with like a... Okay, so I'm just gonna, I wanted to save these because I'm probably gonna still need these steps in the future for other areas, um, maybe even in the top section up here, up, up in this area. So I'm just gonna save those for the moment. Let me just grab these guys again. And then I'm just going to use like probably like the white or something. There we go. All right. So you can see I have those all there. You can see the little step notches now are made and there's a little gap in between. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit command eight on my keyboard. That should turn and you can see your object. If you hit compound path, command eight, that should make a compound path. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to hit this tool here. I'm going to hit unite. I'm going to unite them as in a one object. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this layer below it and I'm going to cut out 
this piece. So let me go ahead and hit cut. Boom. See what happened there? Let me show you again. Let me go back. I'm gonna cut this out. This little this little tool inside of the Pathfinder tool. You can see here if you roll over, it says minus front. So this is gonna minus this from the front. So if you take this out, this is gonna disappear. So if I hit this again, boom, there it is. So I have my steps now. What I can do to make it really easy on myself is you just take this, duplicate this, transform it, and reflect it. So go here and do this on the other side. A lot of people make this really complicated and it's not that hard. There we go. So now I have my steps on each side, plus I have the steps themselves that I saved down here. So if I want to, I can just grab this, move this out of the way, or I can move this like right here, right? What I want to do is I'm going to move this out of the way for the moment. I'm going to just group those together, Command G. And I'm going to use these guys to do this for the moment. And then I'm going to intersect those two as well. So look, check this out. So we got that right there. Boom. Now let me go ahead and make these some sort of a gradient like this. I'm going to start to zoom out. Starting to see something kind of form here, huh? Check that out. That's pretty cool. So let me just take these. I'm not going to need these at the moment. I want to save them though. There we go. I go ahead and duplicate them. Right click, hit trans right click, hit transform, reflect. I know a lot of these shortcuts, so not everybody does, but I'll go ahead and bring these over to the other side. And then like I was saying before, I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it because I do want to create that effect um, where it kind of goes out to the right. And so what I need to do is I need to take this, I need to layer these over each other. Make sure that they're as lined up as they can possibly be. So there's no, see that anchor point's not really lined up. So what I need to do here is I need to make sure that these are totally lined up. There we go. Now if I hit Command Y, go back. I just need to make these two blend. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this because I'm going to need to do the same thing on the other side. Go, go ahead and here. I'm going to go ahead and hit Merge or Unite. Boom. There we go. So that should give me enough to make my little hallway. And then I'm going to have to add my seats. Um, obviously, there's a lot of work to do here. So I'm going to move through this stuff kind of quickly.
All right, so I just licensed this little basketball thing because I'm getting pretty far on this. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and grab this layer. There we go, that one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, Command C or Control C. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that right here. Obviously this is gonna be much bigger. Hold down Shift so that it remains a good size. All right. I just wanna bring this right up to the edge. Something like that. I can grab this here and go bigger. Boom. <clears throat> and then I'll, have, I'll end up taking out these photos um, here as the reference photos that I have. This image out. We'll take this image. Oops, we'll take this image out. We'll take this right there. There we go. I can even take these and move these out of the way. So those are the stands. I wanna go ahead and make this like super jet black. Just feel like it would be a lot better. I'm probably going to darken up some of this stuff because we want this whole area to be really dark. And then what I can do is I want to do something kind of fun. I'm going to play around with this, so check this out. I'm going to go ahead and go like this. And this is going to be a longer tutorial, obviously. Uh, but I wanted to show you just the full thing from start to finish, and then we're going to speed up in certain areas. Uh, but let's go ahead and click here. Whoops. Click that little, see that little thing there? Boom. I'll go ahead and grab this tool, bring that down, bring that down. There we go, so now I got this little eclipse. I can go like this, and put this in here. Nice little light, look at that, how cool is that? I wanna do something a little different to this guy. I feel like it's a little off. There we go. That's pretty freaking cool. Now I'm gonna do a little white a uh, little section right here. So we're gonna bring this all the way down. Oh, that's kind of cool with the gradient like that. But we're gonna go ahead and bring that down like that. Uh, let's see here. Let's go white. Beautiful. And then we'll take this, we'll bring these in just like the other ones. There we go. Look at this, this is really starting to come together. Oh man, I love doing design so much. Okay, so now we have this really nice little area. All right, so let's go ahead and get these seats built. Um, obviously these are gonna be the kind of the backs to it and these are gonna be sitting on there. So I need to make the Eclipse tool. Go ahead and drag this on here. Now that we have this, we're going to make a duplicate of this in the rows. So I'm going to make a whole row of these seats. We're going to go, whoops, go like this. We'll make sure they have just enough space in between, basically touching. I just grouped that one. Might help if you want to group it together. That might help you. Let's see if that works. Yep, that was it. Okay, so I grouped this one together. Now I'm gonna click them both. I'm gonna hold Alt Option. I'm gonna drag them. Obviously I have to drop them down behind the railing. So what I can do to do that, there you go, it's Command. Just Command and go back or forward.
Boom. Look at that. Do the same thing on this one. Even though you're not gonna be able to see it behind the wall, I think the attention to detail is what most people lack. I'm gonna make sure that we're not. So there we go. So there we go. We got our railing. This is so cool. I can't believe I built all this. Now the floor, obviously, the stadium floor that we used to not have to recreate the wheel was super, super helpful. Um, I want to make this just a little bit darker. This has been kind of bugging me, to be honest. I like the gradient, but I think it needs to be a little darker than what currently is. So let me go ahead and adjust that. All right. I think we're good. What do you guys think? Definitely drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you think this is good. There we go. And uh, I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys for watching.